God Sales and John Bird Civic Sports and Entertainment in association with Hennessy Sports. Sponsored by Volderall, The Joy of Movement, Infinitum Entertainment, Making Content Happen. Sectioned by the IBF, the supervisor is Lindsay Tucker from USA. Our three judges going this fight at ringside are Vincent Dupont from France, Richard Green from USA, and Pasquale Procofio from Canada. And the third man in the ring comes to us from USA. Please welcome the referee, Earl Brown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the main event of the evening. Fight fans, are you ready? <laughs> Introducing to first, a fighter in the red corner, wearing white, weighing 107 kilograms. He holds a fine record of 22 fights. 21 wins against only one defeat, including 11 KO victories. He's a former world title challenger and the current British champion and the IBF number four contender, hailing from Manchester, hailing from Manchester, United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Huey. And introducing his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing red and white. His official weight, 109 kilograms. He enters the ring tonight with 26 fights, 25 wins and one defeat, including 13 KO victories. He's a former world title challenger and the former two-time European champion and the IBF number two contender fighting out of Sofia, Bulgaria. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kubrat the Cobra Pulev. Final moments then, before we get underway. The place is absolutely buzzing. And Huey Fury will need... You received your instructions Here's Earl Brown. Room. I need you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves if you want. All right. So the question here for Huey Fury is all about the approach. We know he's got the skill, but having failed against Joseph Parker, having not shown enough aggression, having not thrown enough punches, I think his attitude right from the start and his style, Richie, will be very telling. I think it will, Dave, at the same time here. That's, it. That's what he's got to do, bring that right hand into play. Pulev, we know. He's a, he's a very cagey boxer, is Kubrat Pulev. He edges his way in, he looks for opportunities and openings. Huey Fury, he's got to keep him off balance with that jab, but occasionally just send that right hand home. Gain, gain Kubrat Pulev's respect. And that's what he's got to do early on in this contest, as Huey Fury. It's already interesting that he's let three now right hands go in the opening minute of the fight. It's a good, lively start, this, from Huey Fury. Trying to dominate right from the outset. Looked a different fighter against Sam Sexton, and you can talk all you like about levels, but... After being struck down for so much of his career with that debilitating illness, that horrendous form of acne, and he says it drained him so badly, and he's a, a different kind of athlete now. Will we see that progression here tonight? It's a fair start from Huey Fury at the moment with that jab, keeping um, his opponent just off balance a little bit. Pulev is just looking to get in. 
walking his way forward, but he's struggling probably to get past that jab, and that's when, you know, Fury brings that right hand over as well. He's got the height and reach, remember, Huey Fury, and he's using it quite well to his, to his advantage here. I think Pulev is just struggling to, to actually close the gap down, and that's mainly because Fury is busy with the jab and the odd right hand's coming across. So not a bad start at this point for Fury. Yeah, good movement here from Fury. Trying to frustrate Pulev. Trying to keep him off balance and trying to win the fight convincingly. General feeling is he'll have to do that if it should go to the scorecards. Said that he'd seen plenty of flaws in Pulev. Watching him endlessly on that iPad in the gym in Bolton. Now the real thing standing in front of him. First bit of aggression really there from Pulev. Hasn't got that jab going at all yet. Kubrat Pulev, another right hand from Fury, and Pulev responds. Well, here's some of the action from that first round. I think it was a fairly positive round for, for Yui Fury. I think Pulev did a little bit towards the end, last 20 seconds. 11 more of those. And he might get the nod. At, and he might get the nod at the end of the night. Did Pulev just use that first round to have a look? Be surprised if he doesn't try and establish his own jab in this second round. Well, Pulev's got to be more positive in that first round. He waited far too long. It was probably a scouting mission, as you've said, just having a look at his opponents. But he didn't do enough to win the round for me. He had a good last 20 seconds or so, but that doesn't win the round. I thought Fury landed a couple of good right hands, kept his man off balance. And as long as he keeps throwing that jab, Dave, and just keeps Pulev off balance and then brings the right hand across, Pulev's got problems to close that gap down. He's got to quicken his feet up. Head movement to avoid the shot coming in, most certainly. But at this stage, Fury's not doing too bad. Like in the Parker fight, just occasionally push the opponent back also. That's the important thing. Despite losing to Joseph Parker, he's never really been in a crisis, never had a big drama in his career. Huey Fury goes about his business very calmly and coolly. What he mustn't do is go back into his shell here and try and nick rounds. That's not going to win in the fight. I think, Dave, Fury's got to keep the punches straight. I think Pulev will soon suss out that, you know, he, he'll have a better chance probably on the inside. But as long as those punches are long and straight from Fury and he keeps a gap, keeps his distance, that's the important thing here. He doesn't need Pulev working on the inside, making it scrappy. Keep the punches nice and long, keep that gap between Fury and Pulev. That's what he's got to concentrate on, Huey Fury. One of the biggest surprises in the fight against Klitschko was that Pulev tried to box at range and not get up close and not work on the inside where he's very good. Much scrappier second round this. A few words there from Earl Brown. Good solid left jab from Pulev, and that is a weapon, that left hand, not just the jab. Oh, and is that a cut above yeah. the left eye of Huey Fury? Can it just be a cut there, left eye? Remember, he had the stitch above his eye. 
a couple of weeks ago. They wondered if he could even take part in it, but... He is here, but that looks to me oh. to be the same cut, and it looks bad here for Huey Fury. End of round two. A little lapse in concentration, Dave, probably there, with that jab from Pulev. The lapse in concentration. And looked like a worried man. And Fury's going for it here. I think he feels he has to. Not sure if that cut's going to last out, and Pulev with a little smile at him there. Well, what's happened here, obviously, the, the corner have told him it's, it's probably a bad cut. It's over the eye, the blood's going to run into the eye. He's going to up the, up the work rate and tempo here. And he's going for it, Yui Fury, and that's what he's got to do. It's a bad injury, that is. And Pulev knows, and Pulev's targeting it. And he'll try and tie up Fury here. Can't go rushing in, though, here, Fury. Good work to the body. And the irony is, this is the aggressive Huey Fury that everyone wanted to see, but he's doing it for fairly desperate reasons with that cut opened up above the left eye. It's on the eyelid, in fact. Still just got to get his timing right and just try and time the attacks and try and the, the counter-punching. That's what he's got to do and bring... Um, Pulev on to a couple of these big punches, especially the right hand. Trigger the attack off, a little faint with the left hand, adjust the feet and bring him onto that right hand counter. But this is a better start to the round now from Fury, he's going for it here. Fury the bigger man by a couple of inches. The reach advantage, but now hampered by that serious injury on the left eyelid. And look at the crowd here at the Arena Army Edge. Listen, what's important here, Dave, for Fury? He's just got to keep the jab going and just sort of measure that gap. So he doesn't get too close, doesn't need to be tied up on the inside, so he's got to work more with his jab, measure that distance and gap, and then bring the right hand into play. He doesn't want to get too close to Fury. He's got to keep measuring all the time with that left hand there, and then set that right hand up, there you go. Kulev looks unperturbed, and he's coming straight back at Fury. I have to feel Fury's probably done enough to win this round. But you can't help but look at that left eye and worry for his future in this fight. As the heads come close, you see, Dave, that the heads are rubbing. And that could worsen the cut also. But I think that's a... Seconds out, round four. Problem is, Richie, he can't protect it. The cut's so deep, and Pulev will find a way, and just has to be sensible with his attacks here. Has to be sensible, and... Here. Has to be sensible, and um, he has to keep a gap and distance. Like we've said right from the start. But Pulev, I think, he's struggling to actually close that gap down, but when they come together there, you see, that's where Huey Fury has just got to be a little bit more sensible with his jab and, and just to adjust his feet and not let Pulev close that gap down. Caught Fury there, though, Pulev, as he went on the attack and Pulev feels that he can bring things to a close. I mentioned that Fury had never been in a crisis in his career. Well, he is now. Occasionally now, Yui Fury's got to move off to his right a little bit more. Just caught with the jab there. But Pulev, if you watch the way he's boxing, he's trying to set up that right hand. He knows that Fury's got a very low lead hand, left hand. So he's trying to get that right hand over to worsen that cut. 
So Fury for me, he has got to move to the right a little bit more and move away from that right hand. Fury swinging in that right hand. Just needs some success of his own. Needs to make a dent here in Pulev. Left jab there from Fury was sharp. But it was that straight left from Pulev that caused the damage. Open that damage on the left eyelid of Huey Fury as Pulev just pulls down the head. in 15 seconds of round four. Pulev again, getting up close to Fury. Trying to bully him in there. We're not in control of these pictures, this coverage. So apologies if at times it feels like directors trying to win an Oscar rather than cover a fight. be a few more cutaways of uh, Bulgarian soap stars to end up a cut on his left eyelid in the second round and he has to try and make sure now that that doesn't define the fight it's a big ask that's what he's gonna watch there Dave. the way he walked in there and carelessly dips his head a little bit too low I'll tell you a punch as well he's got a throw here that would catch Pulev for me, he's a right uppercut. As Pulev comes in and closes that gap down, whip the right uppercut through the middle. Fury in that corner. Look at the punch down there, looking to catch Pulev as he came in with his head low. Again, Huey Fury throwing that right hand, you certainly can't argue that he hasn't let his punches go tonight. The left hand again, the left hand that finished off Alexander Ustinov and Dimitrenko as well. It's an underrated weapon that for Kubrat Pulev. I think the wrong option here. The Fury keeps going into this corner. He's trying to bring him onto the shot though, isn't he? That's, the, that's what he's trying to do. But his accuracy is just letting him down there, Huey Fury. We'll understand the tactic. Back it up into the corner, wants his opponent to come forward and trying to bring him onto that right hand, but it's just not happening. Had a little look over there to his father, Peter, in the corner. left now on the front foot. Still say that all these rounds so far have been pretty hard to score. Just made a couple of wrong choices there, you if you in my opinion anyway, staying in that corner as long as he did, trying to bring Pulev onto that big right hand. Didn't really happen, gets caught a couple of times, and for me, probably Pula have got that round. So round six. And is Kubrat Pulev just starting to 
really dominate here and do enough to win these rounds and that might end up being the key that left eye of Huey Fury survives all of Pulev's ring savvy will come into play here I think Fury's corner have done a good job on the eye it's on the eyelid that cut is and if it runs into the eye obviously that can impair the vision of Huey Fury and they've, they've stemmed the blood they've stopped it just a sense that Pulev starting to find a rhythm here just finding that jab renowned punch for him and that would be a worry because Fury has to upset that rhythm. The right cross there, Pulev, as Fury backed into the corner. Yeah, it's been a fairly scrappy contest up to now, hasn't it? But Pulev, he's just finding his way now, starting to work out Yuri Fury. He's landing some better shots. Fury's just got to improve his accuracy with his right hand. As his accuracy in time. You see, there was an example, just missed the target over the top. We know he's got the power, he's just got to get the timing and the accuracy right as Pulev comes forward. He does have 11 knockouts on his record. Huey Fury took out Sam Sexton impressively, but this is another level altogether. left with 13 knockouts in his 25 wins. Good use of that left hand again there from Pulev. If this settles into a pattern, then you'd worry for Huey Fury. Remember the feeling at the start from everyone is he has to win this convincingly to win. And he's not doing that. Pulev is just starting to get a grip, isn't he, on the contest. Better work from him again. Just edging closer and closer, pushing Fury back. That was a right uppercut for the first time there, there from well. Fury. That's the shot we've been speaking about, I mean, that right uppercut. And back into the corner he goes, happy to box on the back foot here. Doubles up that jab there, Fury, as we head towards the end of round six. Brighter at the end of the round from him. Just losing his way a little bit, Dave, here is um, Huey Fury. Just the accuracy, just eluding him a little bit. Pulev just starting to, to get a grip on the contest, working. But Pulev up by a round. 58-57 to this point. Into the second half of the fight. It's a little bit of strut back in the step there of Huey Fury at the start of this seventh round. He's not feeling sorry for himself with that cut. Trying to conserve energy here, Pulev, isn't he? He's been quite clever, fighting in bursts. Aware that he's, although he's not shot worn, he's 13 years Huey Fury senior. He's clever in his approach, um, um, Pulev, Dave. The way he comes forward, he just doesn't go launching in there from too far out. He edges in, edges, he waits, waits for the opportunity. Look, he's taking a back step occasionally. Clever man. I'd just like to see Yui Fury push Pulev back occasionally. Put him under pressure. 
Kubrat Pulev is proving to be a trickier puzzle to solve than Yui Fury might have believed. Two fighting men, they really are. Pulev again happy, I think, that Fury wants to retreat and try and counter punch. Jab in response from Fury. And every time Pulev gets up close, he's using that head. Looking to make that cut all the more hurtful, really, for Fury. In these rounds, Dave, but probably Pulev is doing the better eye catching work, just occasionally catches. Fury with the better, cleaner punch. That may just be the difference. There's that left up. Fury's doing his bit as well, but, he's, but his punches aren't so clean. A little bit scrappy occasionally. Still opts to go back onto the ropes and into the... So from France, from Canada and from the USA. While, of course, they're entirely impartial and will do their best to be, you just feel in this arena, Fury would have to put daylight, serious daylight, between himself and Pulev to get a decision. Needs a good round here, does Fury. That's better now, then. Right on cue, that's a great shot. And he's got Pulev just rocking a little bit there. That was a serious right hand. Pulev smiling. But there's the shot that got his attention. He's still recovering. He's just got to jump on, on him here, Fury. Got to go for him. He still won't be recovered. He's waiting for Pulev to commit again. Punched down there with the right hook as Pulev overbalanced. In the Pulev camp. Oh, that's helping Pulev, that is. Giving him the rest there, looks talking, that is helping a man at, at this fitness level, Dave, to give him like five to ten seconds, you know, it's a lifetime for a boxer. At, at this fitness level, after five, ten seconds, they are, you know, they can be recovered if no shots are coming in on them. But it will give Fury great encouragement and give Pula food for thought. Pulev, remember, out of action for 18 months. Routine win against Kevin Johnson. Can Fury test his fitness? All that hard work in the hills around Bolton. Can he outlast Pulev down the stretch here? Great left hand again there from Pulev. Then Fury looked for the uppercut there. It's been a good round this from Huey Fury. He just needs to finish it nice and strong now. Put the good right hands, that's what he needs. But yeah, it has been a good round for Fury. One clean, that one clean shot really had Pulev in trouble. Pulev, though, roared on by his people here in Sofia. Fury again, just waiting for Pulev to commit. Very bad injury, didn't it? But there's that right hand, the re real first one. He's really landed clean and had Pulev in all sorts of trouble. Great sustained pressure and sustained attack. Pulev comes back at the end of the round. 
seconds off while he was talking, but that was the shot. Best shot for Fury during this contest so far. There's Richie's scorecard. And scorecards could end up being very important. Still got Pulev a round up. Pulev starting with a very solid jab there. Four rounds remaining in Sofia. It's on a knife edge. Well, that's your problem, isn't it? I mean, we're in Bulgaria at the end of the day, and uh, I think the rounds, a lot of the rounds have been close, but you just don't know how the judges are going to go. Another good right hand there from Fury. Just a glancing blow, though, and Pulev responding. The uppercut there from Pulev got a big roar from the crowd, but that's one of your problems in terms of judging and scoring these fights in the arena. Big noise every time the home fighter lands, but not when Fury does. Just telegraphing that right hand a little bit there, Fury. He's just got to use his jab a little bit more. He's got to disguise that punch. The timing right as Pulev comes forward. But Pulev very cagey, very clever. But when Fury does land that punch, and if he can bring Pulev on, sorry, when Fury does land the shot, when he, if he can bring Pulev onto it, he'll have a better chance then of doing um, some damage with it. Natal, uh, seemingly was dropped into the ring there. Just over a minute left in round nine. Gonna get the views of uh, David Hay and Derek Chisora at the end of this round, see how they see it. It's been a good response this from Pulev after being hurt in the previous round. A fight of ebbs and flows. Ramrod lead left hand from Pulev is a big friend of his in here tonight. Fury just off balance there. Just wonder if he was hurt by one of those short left hands that Pulev threw. Pulev senses that Fury's in trouble. Big round this for Kubrat Pulev. Because right now he's losing a couple of rounds. You know, he's feeling sorry for himself in there because of the eye cut. Um, you know, he's, he's running, right now it's all one way traffic. David Hay. Um, he needs to sort of gather himself up. You know, he started to unravel in the last uh, 25 seconds of that round, but he needs to somehow sort of conjure up what, a few big attacks and maybe try and throw a right hand straight. He's looping his right hands from, from his hip. He needs to bring his right hand up and throw it straight down the pipe. Certainly truth time for this young man, isn't it? He's in deep here, it would seem. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Paul. He's in very deep. And he needs to find some strength, find a big shot. As Derek Chisora said, something to turn the tide. Does he want him to look at the eye? No, he's just getting good, yeah. some uh, grease off the eye. I think there were just signs, Dave, in that last round that Yui Fury just getting a little bit ragged. He's just losing his shape a little bit. He's got to get back behind that jab. Try and stand up taller. Like David Hay said, straight right hand, get the timing right. There it is again, you see, it's, a, it's thrown as a bent arm shot there, and there's no accuracy in it. But every time Fury's thrown that right hand, Pulev's managed to 
just take away the leverage from it and get close and make it impossible for Fury to land anything with power apart from that one time when he caught Pulev. Pulev the aggressor again here. Pulev the aggressor again here. Again clever and canny and fighting in bursts and doing enough. But the more confident Pulev gets, the way he's coming forward, he's winning this contest now. But this is when he could be open to that right hand from Fury. This is when he's got to concentrate Yui Fury and bring him onto that shot. But it's going all Pulev's way at the moment, and he's getting very confident. He's coming over his front foot a lot more. He senses victory. But this is when he could walk onto a shot. He's not searching for a miracle, Huey Fury, but at least he needs to win these last three rounds, and even that might not be enough. He's tired a little bit more um, than his opponent here, as Huey Fury. I thought he'd be a little bit fresher than Pulev. The longer the fight went on, I wanted Fury, but he uh, gets caught with a good left hand there, straight left. And it's all Pulev now. That left hand that caused slight problem, only a slight one for Vladimir Klitschko, but it's been such a power shot for him as Fury briefly switches to Southport. I mentioned Pulev isn't shot-worn, he's still fresh at the age of 37. And right now he looks fresher than Fury in there. You see the confidence from Pulev, not even bothering to sit down. But this was a good round for him, good straight left there. Pouring on the pressure. There, Huey Fury just missing the target there, backs up onto the ropes. Well, that was a clear Pule Brown. Huey Fury needs to dig deeper than he's ever dug here. Flicking out that jab, but surely it's the right hand that is his only hope, really. Good shot that time from Fury, got the distance right. There you go, there's still a danger there. And then that left from Pulev again, snaps back the head of Fury. Unfortunately for Fury, the, the times that he has landed that, that right hand, it's when Pulev has been moving away from him. That's why he's just got to get the timing right, Dave, and bring him onto it. Because when he has tried to throw that shot as Pulev's coming forward, he's always missed the target. But if he could just catch him with it, who knows? Both landed at the same time there. Fury with that. Almost pouring right uppercut that time. Got four and a half minutes left in the fight to make something happen. Yeah, the basics are just failing Fury now. Hands very, very low. They've been low all the contest. He doesn't bother to keep that left hand up to protect the eye. Just making little mistakes, keeps going back onto the ropes. But he's very tired now, Huey Fury. Right hand again there from Fury as Pulev 
Just lunged in a little bit. But it's not enough. You don't feel it's enough. Need that aggression now. Needs to find some energy now. Pulev certainly looking to fresher. Fury just starting to fade here. Occasionally you see him throw a, a, a right hand that hits the target, but he's getting more and more ragged. He's very, very tired, Yuri Fury. And this is in, 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 obviously it's encouraging Pulev to come forward. He's opted to go onto the ropes and in the corners. But uh, it's, it's all Pulev, to be quite honest. Seconds out, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the final round. Twelfth and final down. round. I think Kubrat Pulev has surprised a few people here, not necessarily in the way that he's done it, but in what he's clearly got left in the tank. Injury denied him that shot at Anthony Joshua. Pectoral muscle. And he might get it now. He'll be mandatory for the IBF title if he stays out of trouble in round 12 and gets the decision as we will expect. Unless, unless Huey Fury can turn it round in dramatic fashion. Now we're seeing the fighting man. Fury just swinging in punches. It is, remember, heavyweight boxing. One punch can change it. Started the contest very well, Yui Fury pushed um, Pulev back occasionally. But as the contest has wore on, Pulev has, has got to grips with it most certainly. And he's just taken over. Pulev still looking for the finish there. It's never quite sparked into life this fight. It's been entertaining. It's been interesting to watch Pulev at work. Fury may be a bit disappointing. Affected by that cut, he was caught by another big right hand from Pulev there. I just wonder if, if you're being kind, sustaining that cut, opening it up so early, just threw Fury off his game plan and off his rhythm, and he's never quite been able to get it back. And Pulev has just done what he does very well. Well, after the cut, he really came out, didn't he, Yui Fury? As if you know, he even really put um, Pulev under a little bit of pressure. But since then, he seemed to have tired, and that's the end of the contest. Pulev ticks from the cut, really went for it at one point, but then as the rounds went on, he just got more... And Pulev just generally got to grips with it a little bit better, and probably the difference was the quality of the punching throughout the contest was a little bit better from Pulev. Fury missing the target, then time shots when they should have been straight. The occasional good straight right hand that did hit the target, I think Pulev certainly felt. After 12 rounds of boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the score total totals. Vincent Dupa had it 117 to 111. Richard Green, 118 to 110. Pasquale Procopio, 115 to 113. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision, 
And now the IBF number one contender, Kubrab, the Cobra Pooh. There can be 